In the previous video I talked about how you can get the enzymes re 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 produce the plasmid mat by restriction enzyme digest but in this video I'm gonna quickly show you how you're gonna draw the fragments on the plasmid on the gel electrophysis so if this was your gel and this was your um, result how would that look like so this is very easy so for this one um, so we said Two two thousand five hundred base pairs. So we have um um here. Um okay, cool. So we have the SME side here. So two two thousand frag five hundred fragments would be here, wasn't it? Aren't they? Um so would be something like there and forming very fairly big. because the two fragments merge together. If the two fragments for overlap to each other, they're gonna sh show a really thick, large band, okay? So this is one side here. So here we had three sides, didn't we? These three fragments. So there you're gonna just find it from your ladder here. You're gonna have one, two, 100, that'd be like here, slightly. One, we had, um, 1700 um, sorry um, 1100 would be somewhere here slightly larger than that band we have what we had 1800 with somewhere I don't know why this is not available with this should be like that um, somewhere here okay if the, if you get a perfect um, gel, that was how the fragments looked like. And these two overlapping, we had how many sides? We had 400, 800, 1000. So you're gonna just find it from here. We had um, 400 here, didn't we? So we had 400. So 400, we had 800, like that. We had um um we had 1k we should be here we had 1100 here and we had 1700 which was almost here okay so that's the we have that three different different arrangement we would observe if we had um fragments under gel electrophysis then scientists would read that and uh, appropriately draw the plasmid map but in the next question it's very interesting because it's asking you that you did a sudden blood which is um, assigning a specific probe that would bind to the fragments of your match your desired match in this case is 400 base pairs say in this digest it is asking you to match it because the probe is usually radioactive isotope labeling so it's once that's you can easily tag that base pairs in this gel easily identify it and it's asking you to identify it from the plasma map so we had what we had 400 here didn't we so we're gonna form let me bring my other pen okay cool so it is asking you 400 base pairs, so I'm going to first initially make it at 400, right? So that would give me 400 base pairs here. Okay, that would probe, that would identify, that would like a fluorescent in a way. That tells you, okay, your probe binds there. But you have other, you've done the other two as well. So you have to match the 400 specific into the other ones as well. For example, 400... For in this one is a bigger view of um, 2,500 base pairs, isn't it? You're not going to form a 5,000 because it's to this thing side. You're going to find a 400, match it where you can find it here. So, for example, you can find it in the 2,500 base pairs in the first digest. So, what do you do? You, s you see here as well, that, would, that probe would bind to this um, bigger fragment. So, then here, you're going to find 2,700. Okay, 
what did we say here? We said it has to be in a 2100, didn't we? Because it added, added up to 2100. So in here, it is in a bigger view of 2100. So you're going to find a 2100 here. And there you go. Your 400 probe would be identified in this tree, in these two region as well, along with these two double digests. So that's a um, really basic way scientists we identify the cloning and work on it. If you have any questions, please leave it, uh, leave it, leave me comments. And thank you for watching.